Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're staying safe and coding every day. I've been gone for a while, but I'm back and I'm here to teach you a fundamental coding algorithm, Quicksort. Quicksort is a recursive algorithm that divides and conquers. So let's say we have an array of integers 4, 10, 8, 7, and 5. Quicksort works by finding a pivot point within that array, and the theory goes, if you choose the middle index in that array, it is more or less the average of all the numbers or integers within that array. So we're going to use that ideology for this algorithm. First, we're going to start by defining our algorithm Quicksort, and then we're going to pass in an array. Next, we're going to check the length of our unsorted array, and if it's equal to zero, we're going to return that array. If it passes our check, we're going to continue, and the next thing we're going to do is we're going to create three different arrays, a larger array, a smaller array, and an equals array. So what I'm doing here with the quicksort array is I'm using a pivot point to pick out the larger items in the array and move them to the right side of the array and pick out the small items in the array and move them to the left side of the array. And we're going to be using that recursively until we have a sorted array. So to pick our pivot point, like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, we're going to choose the middle of the array, which is going to be half the length of the array. So that's going to give us the integer value of the center of the array. So now that we have the skeleton of the function, we're going to iterate over the array. So we're going to say for index in unsorted array. And we're going to check each index of the array to see whether or not it's larger or smaller than the pivot point. So we're going to say if index is greater than the pivot point, we are going to append the larger array with that index. So we're going to say larger array dot append index if the index is smaller than a pivot point, the smaller array is going to get appended with that index else, and that would mean that the index is the same number or equal to the pivot point, the equal array is going to get appended with that index. So we did most of the work on the quicksort algorithm, now we just have to make it recursive. So what we're going to do here is we're going to say we're going to return quicksort and we're going to pass it the smaller array because we want the smaller items on the left side of the array. So we're going to say smaller array plus the equal array because all the equal items are going to be centered in the middle of the array with the pivot point and then plus another quicksort with the larger array. So what we did with this iteration is that we moved all the smaller indexes to the left side of the array and all the larger indexes to the right side of the array uh, in regards to our pivot point. So when we quick start in the smaller array, we don't have to compare it to the larger array because we already know that the integers in this array are already larger than the integers in this array. So let's test it. We are going to create an array and call it unsorted array I'm going to make it equal 4, 10, 8, 7, and 5. And then we are going to print quick sort. I'm going to pass this unsorted array. And with any luck, the array should get sorted. Alright, so I'm going to go to my desktop where I have this algorithm. Okay, we're going to say Python quick sort. And let's see if it works. Okay, so we do have an issue here. Uh, the name int is not defined. Yeah, that was a typo. I meant to put lowercase i. Okay, so now let's run it and see if it works. And our algorithm is sorted. Four, five, seven, eight, ten. And that is a quick overview of how you do a quick sort algorithm in Python. 
I hope you enjoyed this video. Please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.